Um, I'd like to show you some of the new functions from the AdverTools library that are now available in Google Sheets that, that you can use uh, right now. So what I've done is, is a simple analysis of the sitemap and a bit of scraping of uh, oxfam.org.uk, as you can see. And I'm going to take you through uh, the steps that I took uh, to make this. So the first function that we have is uh, sitemap URLs. So you give it a, a URL of the, uh, the XML sitemap and you just hit enter and it, it gets you all the uh, URLs that are in the sitemap. So here we have 1609, okay? Uh, similar to that, we have sitemap last mods, uh, which gives you the last mod, uh, last modified date of each URL if available in, in that uh, sitemap. And the great thing about this is now it becomes a filter. So you can say, uh, show me the values where the date is before this date or after or uh, whatever you want, okay? Um, so, the, the, and, and there's also a um, sitemap index URLs. So if you have a sitemap index file, you just give it the URL of the, of the index file and it would get, give you all the URLs of the sub sitemaps uh, in, in one go, in one list, as you can see here. Okay, so the next function is URL split. Uh, what this does is first it removes uh, query parameters. So question mark and everything be beyond that is removed and then it splits the URL into scheme, domain, and the path is, is split into directories, okay? So it's, it's as simple as this. And as you can see, not all the URLs have the same number of, of directories, but now we have, uh, you know, we can see how it is structured. So I'm usually interested in, in, in getting the, so this is typically um, category, subcategory, sub subcategory, and this is the actual title of the page, the content. So I'd like to get the last directory of, of each one of these URLs. Give me the last non-empty value in this table, in other words, okay? And we can do this with a simple regular expression. So regex extract from the URL, this pattern. So slash to slash to the end of the string, and in the middle, anything but slash one or more. Sorry, forget the details, but you know you can you can use this. Um, so now we have all the uh, the last directories. So this is the fourth, and it's it's extracted here. This is the third. This is the third. They're all now in in one uh, column over here. So you can see uh, exactly what what's been discussed in on each page using the last uh, part of the, of, of the path uh, of the URL. Now, uh, what we can do next is take these, uh, the text over here and do a simple split. Split, split it by the dash character. And we, we, we get each word in a separate column. As you can see here, uh, it's not the same, but now we have them all in a uh, separate, um, columns and there's one case where you have 40 words in, in the slug of the, of the URL, okay? So quick recap, we did the sitemaps uh, with sitemap URLs and then we did the last mods and then we did URL split and then we did the last directory and then we split the words in the last directory into word one, word two, uh, etc. So now we can, we can start analyzing the structure of, the, of, of this web cipher. So what I did here, uh, I'm using the value counts uh, function, and I ran this function on directory one. So what, what kind of um, uh, categories or sections do I have, segments of the website at the first level, and how many do I have for each? So it seems we have uh, oxfam.org.uk slash media. We have 584 of those URLs shops, we have 537, and, and so on, okay? Uh, you can run this to for other stuff. So you can, you can do this for the column hij, for example, and you get uh, a different uh, story. Uh, you can even run this in a more interesting way. So if you want, let me go back. If you wanna analyze the media stuff, so we can run a filter, let me just remove this filter directory one, clear everything, 
and just keep the media URLs. Okay, now we want to we want to see the value counts of directory two, but not all of them, only the ones where directory one is is media. Okay, so everything is a press release here, so we can we can ignore this H I J K, and see column K, given that directory one is is media, and we can see that each one of these is. Uh, you know the, the URL, the name of the URL, and we can we can run the same. Uh, in this case, uh, um, value counts. Uh, this function also works on a on a range. It doesn't have to be a single column. So I'm taking all the words in all the articles where directory one is equal to media, and I'm counting those words. Okay, so these are the words in the URLs that are. That start with slash media. So to Oxfam reaction, stop words, response, COVID, UK, climate, and you can get an idea about what these uh, topics uh, are about. So let me just now clear the filter and do this again for directory one, and then you can you can do whatever you want with it, as you saw. Okay, next. So we have list mode crawling. Uh, now we have a list of URLs and we can, we, can, we can scrape the elements that we want. So I simply copied these URLs and, and pasted them here in, in this column, 1609. And uh, we have various scraping functions. So the way it works is you simply come here and say AUV scrape. And you can see here what's available to scrape. So scrape the H1 tag uh, from this uh, URL and, and it gives it to you here. Okay, we'll talk about this right now in a, in a moment. Uh, you can scrape the canonical tag. So this is the canonical here and, and you can run a simple check. So uh, is this canonical equal to the URL? Or does it point to itself or to something different? Um, and here they're all true. And we can see how many trues and falses. And if there's falses, we can see uh, what's going on, and if there's issues, or if you want to change something. Meta description, same thing. H2. H2 is an interesting case here because let me just copy this and paste the values here. So as you can see here, the H2 tag has these two at signs in between them. And this is because on every page, you have a different number of H2 tags. So in, in that case, you would have them delimited by this, uh, these two characters. So here we have one, two, three, four, five H2 tags, okay? Uh, if you wanna further analyze these, you can do the simple split, split by at at, and you have everything over here, uh, H1, H2, H3, sorry, H2, 1, H2, A2, H2, 3, and, and so on. Um, you, can, you can do, you can count those H2 tags per page, for example, we use the uh, count a function, uh, and what this does is count the non uh, non blank elements in the range that you've selected. So the number of non blanks in this case are eight. Here we have five. Here this is full. So you can see how many H two tags we have per page. Um, if if that's something that's interesting for you, and uh, you know. And this is just a demonstration that um, about all the kinds of questions and analysis you can run. Uh, if you want to do the, this further, you can just simply double click here as we did. I just don't want to send you know thousands of requests uh, to the website, but you can do this when you want. And sometimes it takes a bit more time uh, depending on, on, on the size and the network. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'd like to see what, what, what you will do with this and, and if you have any suggestions or questions. Um, you can have a link to this sheet in, in the description and uh, I hope you liked it. Thank you very much.